there's I, I will start this conversation by saying that I it perhaps I, I err too far on the side of keeping myself emotionally detached from partisan politics. But I honestly I started the day not quite understanding all the backlash against Twitter going private and being owned and controlled by effectively Elon Musk and maybe effectively doesn't even need to be there. Yeah. I, I, I have come to understand some of the concerns and, and I actually agree with, with some of them, but I, I don't, I don't know. It, it, it seemed like there was a lot of knee jerk reactions to people. And I, I guess agree. maybe the, the place yep. I should start is I'm not, I'm not, I, I, I could be called an Elon Musk fan. I wouldn't call myself that. Uh, I used to th- be very cautious and wary and concerned about him until I saw him speak a few times. And the more I encountered him, the more I realized I, I, I truly believe him at face value that he is not a malicious person. He's not, uh, he's not out to, to, Uh, hurt everyone else for his benefit. You know, I I really think everything he does is for his vision of what would be better for the world. Yeah, I I do. That's a good point. And you have to see his vision. Right. And I think that's, I think there are, uh, I don't know if concerns are the right word, but it's certainly a good discussion to talk about. Is it healthy for, billionaires or whatever, very wealthy people to own big media properties, but they all do anyway. You know, yeah, Carlos well. Slim owns the New York Times, Bezos owns Washington Post, Steve Jobs' wife, Lauren Jobs, owns The Atlantic and some other publications. Yeah. And so they are all in the business of, and, and I say this not in a negative way, but controlling the narrative or maybe being involved in yeah, the being narrative involved, in our be, society. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I think that's it, right. And, you know, and that was the part I was overlooking, right? I mean, it, I, I think if I if I look at everything that Musk has done, and I and I listen to the way that he speaks, uh, and I, I think he sees the world. He's weird, right? Definitely a, a oh, yeah. weird human. Definitely, Thank but goodness. I think a big part of that is because he sees things the rest of us normal people do not. Right? Like how, how many of us, even you know, someone like me. So I'm a I'm a, a 50 year old man who who grew up as a digital native, right? I was online by the time I was 14 years old. So really not any different from my kids in that regard. And and that makes me a, like weird to, to my, you know, age related friends because most of them did not grow up online, right? You know, right. They, they came to it later in life. Uh, but even me, like, when I heard about X.com, which then became PayPal.com, I thought, why would somebody want to send money that way? Like, we have ways to send money online is for it's not for commerce. It's it's for, <laughs> you know, it's for yeah. just exchanging information freely. Why would we want to do this? I didn't think we needed PayPal. None of us thought we needed PayPal until we had PayPal. And then yeah, we couldn't live right. without it. Right. And the same thing has been true for everything else he's done in his career. He sees these things that to him are obvious solutions. Uh, or obvious problems that need to be solved. And the solution isn't terribly difficult. And so he goes and he solves the problem. And then in retrospect, we all look at him like, oh, thank goodness somebody somebody did that. You know, and it turns out it was him. And and he, he hasn't hit every mark exactly right. You know, he's, he's not a perfect person or, or anything like that. He's made mistakes like anybody else. But there's a reason the guy's super rich. And it's it's because he's made a lot of smart decisions that have helped a lot of people that people, you know, want to use and then boom, you know, he profits from that. But I really yeah, don't think it, he's out to hurt anyone. I really I think of no. all the people that, you know, all, all the billionaires that are out there, I think he might be the most the one with with the, the most heart in it. 